This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, if Carol can proofread two and a half articles for a newspaper every hour, how many articles can she proofread in five and one third hours? So in order to solve a question like this, we're gonna use a proportion. Again, a proportion is nothing more than two fractions that are set equal to, are proportional to one another. And let's fill in this left-hand side of the proportion with the information we have. We know that she can proofread two and a half articles every hour. And we wanna know how many articles, again, that amount's unknown, so let's call it X, she can proofread every five and one third hours. All right, so you solve proportions via cross multiplication. To get started, I'm gonna do one times X, one times X is just X equals uh, two and a half times five and one third. Now, in order to do this multiplication, the first thing I want to do is convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. And to do that, I'm going to do 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 1, which is 5. And of course, we're going to place this over 2. So 2 and a half is the same thing as 5 over 2 times. And how are we going to convert 5 and 1 third to an improper fraction? Again, our, denomin our denominator is not going to change, so I'm going to leave that as 3. Now, all we have to do is find our numerator. To do that, we're going to do 5 times 3, which is 15, plus 1, which is 16. All right, so we're multiplying two fractions, as you can see. Before I multiply fractions, I always like to cross-reduce whenever possible. In this case, I can say 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 16 eight times. So this becomes 5 over 1 times 8 over 3. And when you multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across. So this becomes five times eight, which is 40, over one times three, which is three. All right, this is an improper fraction that we now have to convert back to a mixed number to get our answer. And the way we're gonna do that is via some long division. Again, I can read this as 40 divided by three. How many times does three go into four without going over? It's gonna be one time. Three times one is three. Four minus three is one, drop down this zero. How many times does three go into 10 without going over? That's gonna be uh, three times, again, three times three is nine. 10 minus nine is one. And right here, we have enough information to write our mixed number. Again, this 13 is gonna be our whole number. This remainder of one is gonna be our numerator. And this uh, divisor of three is gonna be our denominator. So the answer to this one is, uh, in five and one third hours, she can proofread 13 and one third newspaper articles. So this one is C.